We all know eyeglasses can make you look great and see well, but can it save your life? Especially now during a pandemic where a virus is airborne and can enter your body through your eyes, nose, or mouth, I think any extra protection can help. I've always wanted to do this video for a while. Ever since COVID started back in last March, I intuitively thought eyeglasses would be helpful in protecting us, but I need to wait for empirical studies to back it up. Now, according to a New York Times article published back in September, the answer is possibly. There is now a new study published back in February that confirms it. This is iGuy Ken. Please subscribe to this channel to get the latest news in eyewear and eye care. Let's get started. First, let's get into the New York Times article. It quotes a study from China. In China, where the coronavirus first emerged, there was a small sample size of 278 hospitalized coronavirus patients, and out of those 278, only 16 of them suffered from myopia, which is the technical term for nearsightedness and needed corrective glasses. That is around 6% of the sample size, while the population of the area had about 30% of the population needing glasses. The Chinese doctors observed that there were relatively fewer patients with glasses admitted to the hospital or during the outbreak. This made the doctors speculate that wearing glasses makes you less susceptible in contracted COVID-19. In other words, COVID patients were five times less likely to wear glasses than the general population. This study was published back in September, and it was also just a possibility that this was the case. Now. There is a new study that came out from New Delhi that is published in February to confirm these findings. They had very similar results. Researchers in India studied 304 people aged between 10 and 80 years old. They reported symptoms of COVID-19 when asked about their vision. As per the study, 19% of people say they wore glasses spectacles most of the time. The findings have, suggested, have thus suggested that those who wear glasses for 8 hours a day are less likely to catch the virus. The study showed that the risk of COVID-19 was about 2-3 to three times less in spectacle wearers wearing population than the population not wearing those. An individual has the habit of touching their face on average of 23 times an hour and his eyes on average 3 times per hour. Long-term use of spectacles may prevent repeat touching and rubbing of the eyes, the study adds. Eyeglasses can serve as another type of protective barrier that can prevent droplets that linger in the air when one speaks, coughs, sneezes from entering the eye. It does make intuitive sense that it does provide some sort of protection. You see people in the medical field, first responders, and doctors treating COVID patients with wearing face masks to cover not only their face, but their eyes as well. What needs to be proven is how effective this is in the public setting. And these two studies show preliminary results that it does provide some protection. We intuitively knew that eyeglasses can provide some protection. So what my optical did during the early stages of the reopening of our stores is partnering up with our lens supplier, Hoya, and gave away almost 200 pairs of glasses to essential workers in the hardest hit areas of New York City that was up in the Bronx. We assume that anything would help. If you want to see more about what my optical did, I have linked the details below. I have also linked a New York Times article about how eyeglasses may protect you from COVID-19, uh, citing the China study that I talked about above. Even with the promising rollout of the vaccine, continue to stay safe by washing your hands, staying six feet apart, wear a mask, and get a little extra protection by getting glasses. It not only protects the molecules from coming into your eyes, but also prevents you from touching your face all the time. Again, if you like what you see and want more information about eyewear and eyeglasses, click the like button and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.